Hey everybody, what's up? It's Carson and as you are watching it, it is the end of July. So this video I have shot over the last two months, kind of back and forth a little bit. And what this video is about is refilling your creative well. I couldn't think of a better time to post this as we, or most of us, are coming out of a NaNoWriMo, like, fugue state of, of exhaustion and just powering out those words. So in the video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I use to, like, refill my creativity to get my mind working on stories while still, like, taking a break from actually putting words on the page or words on the screen as most of us type. I'm going to go through a lot of different sort of options for when you want to be creative but you don't want to actually write words. I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any tips on how you fill your creative well that I didn't mention, leave them in the comments down below so that other people can benefit from them too. So one of the first things that I like to do to kind of refill my creative well is to read. I have two examples here of books that I have been reading slash finished recently and I just finished Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman which is the second book to the the Scythe series. I, I feel like it has a name, like the series has a name, but I cannot remember what it is. But I just finished that book, I was reading it on Scribd and it had a lot of really, really interesting dynamics in it. I am the type of person who takes notes while I'm reading in terms of like quotes that I like or ideas that make me just curious, things that I could write about. And one of the things in that book, which I don't think is spoiling, is that there's a line that talks about creating places to live underneath the ground, in the ocean, and up in canopies. And that just like set my brain off right thinking about how cool that is and it made me think about the ink heart series if anybody ever read those or watched the horrible movie with brendan fraser which i kind of like because i kind of like brendan fraser but um we're kind of getting off topic anyway in the third book of that series there's people that live in trees and like the, the their whole life is lived in the trees and I just thought that was such a fascinating concept it made me really excited to write and be creative which is the whole point of refilling your well so the second example I have here is a book that I'm still reading and this kind of example only really applies to um, historical fiction writers or I guess it could apply to anybody if you're using the book specifically as a um, a sort of reference or research if you will and so this book that I have here is seafarers merchants and pirates in the middle ages and I'm reading it I'm not too far into it but I have already had some pages that I have earmarked as just having interesting details on them so I kind of use this book as as a way to find new interesting tidbits that I want to put in my story so this talked a lot about, obviously it's about um, seafarers, and it talked about illegal ports as places that are just like natural places to stop in the geography where people would end up kind of setting up shop to put their boat there and to sell their wares there and then leave even though it's not necessarily an actual port or a port city where they're supposed to be docking their boat and selling their wares. And I thought that was so interesting um, from both perspectives as somebody who just puts their boat there and also as somebody who rules that land and is like, uh, hey, why are you selling your stuff here? You're not supposed to be doing that. So those are two kind of ways I use books to refill my well and also, sorry, it got very dark, but also this book has pictures too. So like, look at that ship. That ship is so cool. <laughs> so just looking at things like that that could bring some inspiration to you and some creativity back to your brain when you feel a little fried. So yeah, the first thing that I would recommend is going to your bookstore or your bookshelf or your library and picking up a book to check out. Don't worry, you don't have to tell me. I know you cannot stand how freaking cute she is. Like, what? 
How do you even exist? Okay, guys, we're going in the living room. Oh, we gotta turn the AC off. Ooh. So, if you're not feeling like reading to refill your well, another wonderful way to kind of get more um, creative inspiration is to watch TV and movies. So today, my puppy and I are going to watch Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because just like every nerdy girl and guy, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter and I've been really wanting to rewatch them, especially now that I've just been home doing pretty much nothing. So we're gonna rewatch the Harry Potters and I always find so much inspiration from them, just even like, not even the plot or the characters, but just the settings are so amazing, so beautiful. I got to go to Harry Potter World maybe two summers ago, I think. And my sister has this horribly embarrassing clip of me walking in because I'm just so, so excited to see it. I think the first one I saw was Diagon Alley and then I went over to um, Hogsmeade. But they did a phenomenal job if you're in the Florida area or you get the chance to go after, you know, COVID is a distant memory for us. Definitely go. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience, but I guess I will get to live it vicariously through my TV today. Hey guys, another day and another way to kind of jumpstart your creativity. So I did finish first Harry Potter yesterday and the things that I gained from that this time around is that I really want to have a big like eating scene in my next book or even in my current book, just like a scene where everybody is sitting all together like in the Great Hall in Harry Potter. It's just such a dynamic place and a huge part of being at Hogwarts of the plot and I really want to have kind of like have that tie in with my characters the the a meal being significant in one of my stories. So right now, the next tip I have for you is to listen to some music that you haven't listened to before, you haven't listened to it in a while, and I'm going to do that while I clean my kitchen because my sister and I were home alone this weekend and it's kind of trashed and it's our job to clean it up because we're the ones who made the mess. Well, actually my mom made a lot of the mess, uh, but we're gonna clean it up because she told us to. So. I'm going to start that and I'm going to listen to stuff on my headphones. If you want some recommendations, things that I recommend listening to when you're trying to really get creativeness out of it, I guess, is um, either things in different languages because I'm always so inspired by different cultures or people who are telling a story with their music. I would recommend The Lumineers, Vance Joy, Noah Gunderson, those are just some off the top of my head that I know that I personally enjoy, and also in general musicals. So the current musical that I'm obsessed with is Once on this Island, um, the 2018 version. So good. Just so good. Go listen to it if you haven't, or at least listen to the first song, We Dance. Such an awesome opening number and then um, Waiting for Life is the character song which is also phenomenal so go listen to those if you haven't if you want to listen to really awesome music but the reason why I recommend musicals is because generally they do have songs that are very like plot and character focused while still being really awesome songs to listen to and it's a great place to get inspiration for plot and character sound like a broken record but yeah Let's do this thing, let's go. Ready?
So in this little clip, I am showing you guys part of my vacation with my boyfriend. We went um, about a month ago and these are some of the gardens in the mansions in Newport, Rhode Island. We loved our trip and it was so nice to go see something new and be out in nature. I think that going to explore the world around you is one of the best ways to kickstart your creativity and it's kind of a two for here because we also went someplace that we had never been before or I personally had not been before. He had been to the mansions prior with his family and going somewhere new always sparks so many ideas for me the servant life tour at the elms i highly recommend it was fascinating i would definitely go back and do it again because just hearing about how they lived and traveled it really made me want to research these wealthy american families and learn more about them i definitely think that there is a story there in my future Plus, just getting out in nature, going to see the natural world, I don't know. I guess I'm rambling a little bit, but it is always so inspiring to me, and so I think it's always worth a shot. You don't need to go as far as I did for new scenery. You can always just go down a residential street that you've never been before, or go on a bike route, or go to a park you've never been before. Of course, doing all of this safely with the pandemic going on, but yeah, they're great ways to refill your creative well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun filming this for you, kind of thinking of different things that I wanted to do that brought me some creative energy without being writing and yeah, I would love to film more videos like this. I don't actually know how I would, but it's definitely something I have in the back of my mind to work on and get out for you guys because I liked it. I hope you guys liked it too and enjoyed it. There is a whole bunch of stuff linked down below. I will leave music that I liked to listen to, the website for the Newport Mansions if you want to go see them, um, a whole bunch of other things. The books that I read in this video, so if you want to check out anything I specifically did, you can, and I hope this kind of helps you get over your like NaNoWriMo funk at the end of of July. I know once I reach the end of NaNo, I'm just so fried from writing. I need something else to do and these are options for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video and what way you refill your creative well the most. Do you love to watch movies? Are you more of a reader? Do you listen to music all the time? I would love to know. If you like what you saw and you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys here. I am loving making videos for you recently. I have more time on my hands now that I'm not a student and getting into this community makes me so happy. So come join me over here. I make reading and writing content if that is interesting to you at all. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.